But don't call me amigo because it's not hardcore <laughs> and core, and I'm so hardcore. But uh, <laughs> but um, when I started rapping, it was like I used to, you know, every rapper spells their name, you know, Fabulous, uh, Jay Z, everybody, yeah. B I G, they all spell yeah. their name. So yeah. um, I would go, it's the A M I G O, and that's where the M I okay. came from. So oh. G O, and that's where the M I okay. came from. So oh. and it's come to mean Mr. Incredible. My real name is Jude Abaga, so Ja. Wow. If you had to say that, <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, it's a boring name, isn't it? Judah Baga for a rapper. Come on, man. I couldn't come on stage and be like, Yo, I got swagger. My name is Judah Baga. <laughs> you, can, you, can go, you can make anything go. You yeah. can make anything go. But um, yeah, so I, but I do like M I, and um, it's sort of is, I've sort of like taken to it. Yeah, 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 that's cool. And your dad, a pastor. How did you survive? Uh, no, my dad was Because my cool. dad is a pastor as well, yeah. so I know. Really, really, really. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, 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 so. My dad was, he's special because he was just my dad. Like, he used to pastor the church and f be my dad. Like, he didn't take his, bring his work home. You know what okay. I mean? It's like, um, and that's, he sort of like just laid the groundwork for all his kids to be creative. Like, my brother too is in music, he's a producer. And uh, my younger, my youngest brother, because we're three boys, He's also a very creative guy, like he's a writer. He's still in the uni, but he's, he's gonna be something else when he comes out. So, um, shout out to my dad, you know what I mean? Good job, good job. I'm gonna buy that car. He called me recently, this is a funny okay. story. Okay. He called me because he's in the States. And he called he me- He lives in the States? No, no, he just traveled to the States to visit. Okay. And he called me from the States, and I, I, remember I was driving somewhere, and he just says, so, uh, so you have all this money, my son. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, he told someone there that he's M.I.'s dad. And the person went like, what? Did you come here on a private jet and <laughs> says like, buy me a car before I get home? And I was like, okay, we'll see. Oh, that's so <laughs> And while I was talking about your dad, I'll go to your mom as well. Yeah, she was in a choir and they used to sing like, the soft one rotations out. Okay. So she was singing a really simple song and she'd just go, do, re, mi, fa, and she'd do, re, mi, do, re, mi. you? I was six. Wow. Six. I mean, I just had such a burning like passion for music since I was since I was a child, and so she would sing it out to me, and then they bought me like this eight note keyboard, okay. and so I just play out like she'd be singing, and I'd be playing it out, and then uh, music sort of has mathematical rules that it follows, no matter what instrument you play. So I'd lie in bed at night and just try to figure out, okay, if I play this note and that note and that note, and make a chord. Yeah. If I switch it that way, you know. So most of my knowledge of music actually happened in my head before I actually got to musical instruments. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Um, best Rap Single Award at 2008 Hip Hop World Awards. Mm -hmm. How did you put that up? Well, actually, Best Rap Album, and I didn't win the Best Rap Single. Oh, best oh rap at 2008. Album. 2008. 2008 Best Rap Single, yeah. 2009 Best Rap Album. The same Hip Hop's as well. Yeah, the same Hip Hop World Award, wow. but two different, the two years. Wow. Um, I, I'll talk about the first one, because okay. that was actually a bigger surprise for me. Like, um, it was, the last one was sort of, because, when they said MI for the last, this recent one, 2009, yeah. the whole crowd would be like, yeah, MI. So I was sort of like, well, you know, I got this. But, <laughs> but for the first one, like, I was literally, no one knew me in Lagos. No one had heard of me. And Seriously? Yeah, and they called oh, you know, MI crowd mentality, yeah. Okay. And I was like, I gra when I was on stage, I grabbed it. And they, they have, like, the blooper reel of me grabbing their water and going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and they play that like over and over again. Ah, ah, ah. So, but um, it really was, you know, just like a pat on the back because people know like the music I, I make at first wasn't so widely accepted yeah. in Nigeria, and um, it was a pat on the back to say, yeah, exactly, unique. like to keep doing what, just keep doing what you're doing, and sort of like introduce me to like a whole lot of people, you know, yeah. that hadn't yeah. heard of me before that. Wow, 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 wow. amazing. <sighs> Crowd mentality. And that was the one that won 2008. Yeah, 2008. So you won the... Do you remember any of the nominees? Like, you know? Uh, for which one? 2008? 2008. Eight, both. 2008, I was up against Rugged Man, Rugged okay. Baba. I was up against Mode 9 for wow. a song called Contradiction, I think it was. Okay. And who was the last person? Nato C. You know my P. Wow. I think those were the wow. four contestants. And you put it off. Yeah. Keep your heart out. No, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. <laughs> And you had to hear that you've topped every major chart in around Nigeria, beating music from nine other countries worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, we've, 
we've done well. Is There's it no... the pasta thing? Because like you know, you probably get away with a lot of things. Yeah, like, I mean, know. I know like we, your show probably reaches like a wide spectrum of people. And one thing like people should know about Africans is that we are serious about our belief in God, and yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean like as a Christian or a Muslim or whatever. It's just we as Africans and. This is a generalization, of course, but we sort of have a feeling like that there is something else out there. Yeah. And because of that, like, I would say, like, in terms of my reality, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt, like, I do feel a presence of uh, divine guidance over mm -hmm. my career. Like, you know, things have, things have, things that are not supposed to have ha happened have happened for me. Mm -hmm. You know, doors that have opened at certain times. And, um, yeah, so shout out to the big fella up there. Wow, you know? I love that. I love that. I'm sure he's smiling down at you like, you know, <laughs> yeah, big up, yeah. Go he's on. probably like a hip-hop fan with his hat and his bandana like around his head. Chelsea Jersey. He's like, yeah, yeah. Chelsea Jersey, <laughs> no, man. No, man. But you were inspired by um, Pan and Percival? Definitely. And Footsteps Band? Definitely, definitely. Wow, Footsteps Band, definitely. Those were our rock stars in Nigeria way back. And um, he never got to do, everybody in Joss, I, everyone in Nigeria thought he was going to go on and do like huge things, but um, he, he is a legend in my book, and he's still doing music up to now. You know, I mean, still amazing, still going, still looks as young as he did like way back. You know, mm. fantastic guy. Wow. And um, at the age of ten, you play drums and you play the keyboard. Yeah. Um, I just had again such a passion for music, and I realize now that I've been preparing my whole life for career in music. Like, I produce a lot of my album. I produce that. Um, the mixtape, I produce yeah. almost everything on the mixtape. What I mean produce is I take samples of other beats and make new music from them. So, um, and I'd voice myself, I'd record myself in the studio. I, I've just always loved music so much. And this is a little bit embarrassing. When I was in the States for college, I was part of an a cappella group. Okay. Please don't go online, please don't Google it and try to see images of me singing a cappella. But I was in an a cappella group and I used to dance before that. Wow. Yeah. You probably give us some steps now before. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You think about it. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, this is a little bit sensitive to me because um, um, I see some similarities um, between us. Um, I used to work full time. I'm a civil engineer um, by profession. Really? Yeah, and um, I've done so many things. And that, that explains the orange suit, of course. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's purely <laughs> because of you. Because your future is so bright, you know. <laughs> but. Um, it wasn't easy for me to um, switch over because this is my real passion and like, you mm. know what I'm talking about, like, you know, being an African, your parents, you know, daddy, you know, More you to do. I'm not hating on you, you know, but, you yeah. know, I'm just saying the facts, you yeah. know, um, you know, our parents, you know, tend to like have a vision for you. Maybe yeah. they wanted to be a doctor, or maybe they wanted to become something and they couldn't achieve that. Mm. And they sort of like tried to force you to do that, yeah. if you understand what I mean. So it took me a long time before I could actually like go into what I really enjoyed mm. doing. And he has it here that, you know, in 2003, you went back to Joss and then you quit your job and then you took up this um, work with um, Inner Hub Studios yeah. producing your, and recording your own music because yeah. it wasn't easy for me and mm. um, at first it didn't pay off and you know yeah. people were like you know oh you know maybe you're thing, crazy yeah. or you know how are you going to because it was a really good yeah. job yeah. so and I want you whilst you're answering this question to like probably you know just like speaking to the camera and like yeah. try to inspire yeah. people out there not just the youth but people yeah. out there that you know yeah. have a dream but they just don't don't want to switch yeah I mean well I mean it's become evident like to I guess a lot of the world that a lot of the things that we were brought up to believe yeah. about careers and stuff are absolutely not true you know what I mean? It's absolutely untrue that you can't make money doing what you love. Mm. It's absolutely untrue that you have to do certain vocations, yeah. you know, to get a job. Right now, the world is so diverse. Economies are so diverse. People can do anything, you know what I mean? Literally anything. And um, it wasn't easy, but for me, my parents were, have always been supportive, just generally. They've been supportive of their son. And they've said, you know what I mean, if you're going to do it and you're really... You know, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see.